Hello, Peter. Welcome back to another video. This really popped when I saw it. That to me is a monster increase. Again, this book got hot. This book is ready to go higher. So let's jump right into it. We are back today with another statue review from Diamond Select Toys. Without further ado, let's get into the review. What is going on YouTube? This is Lawrence over at Mighty Comics and Collectibles and thank you for joining me for another character video. Today we're talking about my most favorite Spider-Man villain of all time, Dr. Otto Octavius, Dr. Octopus. And I can't wait to get into this video. But before we do, I want to remind you guys, if you're not a current subscriber of the channel, do me a favor, go ahead, click that subscribe button. I want you to smash the hell out of that like button. Get this video out there to everyone out there in the community. With that said, if you guys don't know, I'm giving away a massive Thanos statue once we hit 4,000 subs. I believe we're just under 400 subs away. I can't wait to give that that sucker away but we're talking doc ock and i'm gonna give you my top books that i want to own starting at number one because on these videos i start at the top spot it is a copy of amazing spider-man number three and the first appearance of dr otto octavius dr octopus of course there is an editing mistake in this comic book that refers to spider-man as superman believe it or not and a cgc 3.0 just sold this month for only $2,340. You guys know if you're a Doc Ock fan and you love Spider-Man, this is a must-own book and it had to be at the top spot. At number two on this list is a huge massive key that nobody really talks about. It is a copy of Amazing Spider-Man Annual Number 1 and the first appearance of the Sinister Six that was put together by none other than Dr. Otto Octavius. And it includes Doc Ock, Craven, Vulture, Electro, Mysterio, and Sandman in a CGC. 2.0 just sold this month for only $591 believe it or not man this book has really come down I remember a 1.5 was close to a thousand bucks now a 2.0 back under 600 you have to own this book if you're a Doc Ock and an amazing Spider-Man fan there are several iterations of the Sinister Six this of course was the very first one at number three on this list is the second appearance of Doc Ock. It is Amazing Spider-Man number 11, of course, this classic purple cover book, and a CGC 3.0, just sold this month for 288 bucks, believe it or not. Man, that is really a great price for the second appearance of one of the most baddest Amazing Spider-Man villains of all time, and it happens to me, like I said, my favorite. I remember when this book in this grade was approaching five to 600 bucks, now under 300 bucks for a 3.0, I'm all over this book. Coming in at number 4 on my list is a copy of Amazing Spider-Man number 12 and of course the third appearance of Doc Ock. Again, a nice classic yellow cover book and a CGC 4.0 just sold again this month January for only 300 bucks a 4.0 mid grade for only 300 a lot of amazing Spider-Man books have really come down I think now is the time to pounce on these especially the early issues anywhere from 1 to 50 to me is a sweet spot we're not talking about amazing Spider-Man I'm all over these books you guys know I have multiple copies of all of them at the five spot on this list is a personal favorite of mine. It is a copy of Amazing Spider-Man number 55 in this iconic cover by the great John Romita Sr. The cover art for this comic I saw at New York Comic Con for a whopping $225,000 for sale. I couldn't believe it. And a CGC 4.0 just sold this month for only $119, believe it or not. Man, this cover is absolutely amazing. And to see it in person in this year's con, I, I just couldn't ask for anything more. It's a classic cover, and believe it or not, is still undervalued. Still so cheap, it's a must-own for any Spider-Man or Doc Ock collector. Coming in at number 6 on my list is another classic key. It is a copy of Amazing Spider-Man number 56 and the first appearance of Captain George Stacy. Of course, we all know him as Gwen Stacy's father. And of course, not a lot of people know out there in the community, this is an iconic storyline where Spider-Man is convinced by Doc Ock that he is one of his henchmen, believe it or not, and is CGC. 5.5 just sold this month again for only $82. I don't know why this book is always undervalued. Again, this is the first appearance of Captain Stacy. I know he's not around long in the comics, but again, a key figure and what goes on to be an important part in Spider-Man lore, a part of his history. It's a most-owned book. That's why it's had to be a number six on my list. 
And at number 7 and rounding out the top Doc Ock books that I want to own in my collection is a copy of Amazing Adult Fantasy number 11. Now when we talk Doc Ock, nobody ever seems to talk about this book. This book actually had a prototype of Doc Ock that was created by Stan Lee and Steve Ditko and it was actually published 3 months prior before Amazing Spider-Man 3 hit the shelves. An amazing tidbit nobody in the community ever speaks of and it's CGC. 5.0 just sold back in November for only $290 believe it or not again a classic book one of the early amazing fantasy books before we actually got number 15 again a classic book a test for Doc Ock I never knew about this one a lot of people probably didn't but regardless I think it's a sleeper when we're talking about Doc Ock that's it for this list, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you guys can't tell, I am a huge Spider-Man villain fan. I'll probably be doing more lists relating to these Spidey villains. But for now, I hope you enjoy this one. I hope you pick up some of these books because I still think Spider-Man villains are highly undervalued. This is Lawrence over at Mighty Comics and Collectibles saying thank you for watching and I'll talk to you guys soon.